Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing yet another Summer Conventions Limited Edition 2018 Funko review on the glow in the dark Harry Potter Moaning Myrtle. Now I picked this up on EMP and I was about to pay $19.99 for it and my friend from YouTube, check out their channel, the link's in the description below, Danny and Jazz, they have a great channel, go and subscribe to them. Um, they sent me a link to get me some discounted off and I paid $17.99 for it and as I'm a member of EMP, I get me free shipping so I was really pleased with that. Big fan of Harry Potter, I have quite a large Harry Potter collection. There's not many Harry Potter exclusive exclusives, so uh, if you know what I mean, like convention exclusives, so I'm glad we got this one. It's a really cool looking pop, it's glow in the dark, we've got Myrtle there. Uh, I love this um, boxing for the Harry Potter pop, it's like nice picture of Moaning Myrtle on the side there, with all sort of like the, uh, the uh, wizard paper in the background. Then on the back we get the others available in the set, we've got Tom Riddle, which I own, Nearly Headless Nick, which I would really like to pick up, and then we've got Gilderoy Lockhart, Ginny Weasley and then we've got three Harry Ron and Hermione in their like in their outfits from one of uh, from the Chamber of Secrets so that's a really cool looking pop so let's waste no time and get Myrtle out of the box I don't want to damage it as I would like to keep Moaning Myrtle in a box so let's quickly take her out and let's have a look at the pop itself so here's Myrtle out of the box she had no interest in standing up so I had to put her on her stand so I had to put her on her stand she's a very light and small pop figure and the glasses you can accidentally knock them out of place so try to be careful not to do that because I don't want to break them off. But yeah, it's a really, really cool looking pop. All translucent throughout, obviously, as she's a ghost. She's got her Hogwarts robes on here, which is really cool. And even with the Harry Potter Hogwarts logo sculpted in, I really like that. Um, it's a basic standard girl pop. I mean, she's got uh, pigtails here and uh, a ghostly like features on the back. She's a really, really, really cool pop, actually, come to think of it. I do like it. Um, I think they could have done a bit more of it. It doesn't really look like the actress. I know it's hard to make them look like the actors and actresses, especially if she's playing a ghost and especially as this is a see-through pop. But I don't think they've really gone to much expense here as a convention exclusive. I mean, if it didn't go in the dark, then I'd be a bit more disappointed. But it is a cool pop anyway. But I'm just saying I wish they'd done a bit more of it. Um, I don't know if you agree with me. Let me know in the comments below if you agree that this is just a, it's just a bit plain for my liking. But it is a cool pop of Myrtle. So let's see if she glows in the dark. There, there she is. There's Moaning Myrtle. Now that looks cool. In the dark. That's very glow in the dark. It's coming through on the camera quite well. It's really picking that up. But that's a really nice looking pop there. I really like that. Nice glow in the dark moaning Myrtle. That looks really, really cool. So guys, overall, I definitely recommend you pick Myrtle up. I mean, if you're a Harry Potter fan anyway, pick her up because she's a really nice addition to your collection. But um, I'm a bit disappointed. But anyway, that's just my opinion. But like this video, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of Myrtle. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on all forms of social media, guys. Links below. And thank you for watching. I've been the Nerdy Collector, and I'll see you next time for another review.